It's uh, it's Friday, August the 11th, and today we've got a guy that's flying in all the way from Ohio to pick up this truck. What's up? I was waiting for you in the front. And somebody hollered at me, I was like, they drove around the back. Hey, how's it going? Good, Jacob. Drew Curley, nice to meet you. Rhino, how's it going, man? Good, you? Yeah, what's your name? Riley. Nice to meet you, I'm Drew. Y'all ready to do this? What do you think? Was I driving it? Uh, I, I pulled it up in here, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's making fun of my height. What's up with that? You seem comfortable with it on Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Favorite feature so far? The wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely what drew me to calling town to country and having you guys do this. I figured it was the best route to go is coming out this way to do it. I'm not uh, messing up your shot, am I? That freaks me out. <laughs> testing, testing. All right, we're good. Why don't you go ahead and state your name for the record? <laughs> My name is Jacob Lewandowski. Obviously, we've already been out there to take a look at the truck. Has the shock worn off yet, or? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to go back out there and stare at it some more. I can stand there and look at that thing for all day. You probably will for a little while. I probably will. <laughs> yeah. So tell me a little bit more about, oh, and I'm sorry, totally sorry. This is Rhino, town and country Ford. Uh, he was very much involved in the deal, so we'll get some more details on that in just a minute. Uh, so why don't you why don't you start off and just tell me a little bit more about how you found Town and Country, and then a little bit more about how you learned more about SCA and started this process. Kind of got the itch a little bit, um, which is never good for me when I'm <laughs> start running to dealerships or getting online. I'm researching stuff. I was looking at lifted trucks, and that's what I actually was googling was lifted trucks, and I came across a truck that Town and Country had. It was a white black widow i called left a message i got a, it was on a saturday i called back i think it was a monday yep it was and he Monday said morning. we delivered that truck did he talk to you first yes okay yeah yep. did you find town and country through the youtube channel through youtube okay yeah they got a killer youtube channel yeah. okay so from there obviously you told me earlier that you've seen a lot of our videos so you Absolutely. started watching the passion driven life project i did what was it that stood out most to you about us as a differentiating factor from other people out there who build lifted trucks? I don't know. You can tell the overall atmosphere here and um, the quality parts that you guys put into the vehicles. Um, there's definitely quite a few other people out there that do that, but none of them looked nearly as well put together as your truck said. You're, you're it's, actually... It, it really just stood out. I mean... I yeah. Mean, you're, and you're not the first person that said that, um, you know, about the the family atmosphere here and then also the quality you know this is my second or third time to tour this facility myself and you know it, it amazes me every time i come here especially the first time you know to find out that the fender flares are mm -hmm. you know actually made and molded here and you know the the back room where the bumpers are you know specked out with cardboard and things like that just the level of attention to detail that you see here yeah, yeah. In, in my 11 years in this industry is the best i've ever seen well, that's, that's where you're going to get the best is when you're able to keep the majority of the stuff that you do in-house. When you start outsourcing, outsourcing stuff is when you can potentially run into problems. Not necessarily. Yeah. It's all dependent upon 
you know, the contractors that you have do the work. Yeah. Vine's going to see some, some doodles yeah. and some trails and stuff. <laughs> she asked me about it the other day. She's like, you going to take it over there? And I was like, I'm not, I don't plan on taking it through the woods and doing any rock climbing with it. But I'm You gonna, better send me a video <laughs> now if you do that. Dunes. I will. I will. Let me ask you this. What are your hobbies or passions uh, and how does the truck that you just purchased factor into your lifestyle? That's a great question. <laughs> um, pa passions right now, I mean, are really just trying to be a good role model, good father figure to, to my daughter, trying to be a good, um, you know, be a good husband. But outside of that too, it's also drag racing and vehicles just overall. I've always yeah. loved um, either a vehicle that has a ton of performance. I've had a chance to own a Hellcat before and it was a oh, awesome. phenomenal car. So it's either speed or something that's just so out there custom it's that's drawing everybody's attention to it. Right, and I know right, that's yeah, gonna yeah. do that. So And you uh, you own a business. I do. So obviously it's a a marketing tool I would guess to an extent sure. for the business. Sure. Well, we could probably sit here and chat <laughs> all day, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. So Jacob Great meeting you. Nice meeting you. Good too. seeing you again. Yeah, you too, Drew. All right, Rhino, Jacob, Drew, out. Fixing to crank it up for the first time. <laughs> Woohoo! I was just, I was waving by. <laughs> Y'all drive safe. Drew, we got ourselves another happy customer. Road tide. Road tide.